Continuing on our journey, we left Rincon, Puerto Rico and started driving towards San Juan. We decided to stop at Cascada Gazalandia, which is a large waterfall. You pay $10 to park and then you can spend as much time as you want at this beautiful large waterfall. As you can see, the sky is dark and we got to the waterfall and it was pouring rain, completely pouring. There were a few people under this awning that I decided to stand under for a little while and the rain was just coming down like in buckets. If you can see those stairs, it's just so much water. So I was waiting until the rain stopped I talked to somebody that said the fall has doubled since it started raining. As you can see, we could not play in the waterfall. The current was going very quickly and doing anything recreational at this point was kind of out of the question. We'd already paid our $10, so we were not going to just turn around and leave. We decided to explore a little bit, um, and we did have the place all to ourselves. Now you can see we're above the falls and this is all the water rushing down the falls. We came back a year later and this whole area looks totally different and I will show you that at the end of this video what it looked like in 2022 compared to what it looked like in 2021. The comparison is just while well, it's raining versus no rain. That's what the difference is. I don't think that this has changed massively in one year. It was just the day that we went in 2021. It was pouring rain and the day that we went in 2022 was a beautiful sunny day. You can't really tell in the video, but the entrance and exit to the waterfall is very steep. So getting up it was difficult and then going down was just a little bit scary but watching it back on the video, it doesn't look that steep. So it, it seems like I'm making a big deal out of nothing, but it was actually very steep and kind of scary. Wow. I took a lot of video of the scenery as we were driving because Puerto Rico is so beautiful. We went through this lush area. We saw plains, we saw mountains, we saw lots of houses. So just very interesting if you're interested in kind of what Puerto Rico looks like. This is a good thing to watch because you are seeing more of what real Puerto Rico looks like versus just what a tourist might see. So I highly recommend renting a car and taking a road trip because you'll see a lot of things that you would otherwise miss.
we are at Birth of a New World. It looks like you can't get in, but this statue is supposedly taller than the Statue of Liberty. It's of Christopher Columbus. The Birth of a Nation statue is very boring and just happened to be on our way, which is why we stopped at it. But I wouldn't recommend stopping or making a point to go there. It was not that impressive and there's nothing around it. And it's kind of a controversial statue, actually. I think many of the locals don't like it and would like it to be removed. So kind of interesting facts. Uh, I'm not upset that we went to see it, but we would have been fine not seeing it. It didn't add anything to our trip. So here is 2022, the beautiful day that we went back to the waterfall. It blows my mind how different it looks, but it is the same waterfall. We went back and spent the day here. There were a ton of people. It was beautiful. And here is a side-by-side -side of 2021 and 2022 and how different they look. Thank you for watching this video of our road trip from Rincon to San Juan. I highly recommend taking a road trip, whether it's this one or another one in Puerto Rico. You see a whole lot more than if you just stay in San Juan. And I highly recommend going to this waterfall on a nice day. It's beautiful. It's a great way to spend the day. And I hope that this has inspired you to travel more. Join me next time as we cover San Juan and the rainforest. Catch you next time. Bye.